You walk into a Cracker Barrel old country store, you can't help noticing that the walls are like a mini museum creating an old fashioned down home atmosphere. So where does all that memorabilia come from and how do they pull it all together? We're going to take you behind the scenes at Cracker Barrel's decor warehouse in Lebanon to see their amazing collection of over 90,000 original American artifacts. So everything's cataloged. It is, yeah. Everything's placed in here, kind of like the the guitars and the baby carriages. It's all inventoried, so when we need it replaced up front, we know where to come get it. So, Larry, tell me how all this got started. We got started in 1969. Uh, Danny Evans came up with the idea to put a little restaurant out on the interstate, and he contacted my mother and father, Kathleen and Don Singleton. They had an antique shop here in Lebanon, and he got them to come out and try to create the little country store that he had in mind. And they've been had been doing it ever since, right? They did. They yeah. started. They had an antique shop in the 60s, and they started in '69 when Cracker Barrel started, and. I started in 79 uh, and have been carrying on since. And when you were a kid and you were going out with mom and dad picking things for the store, did you enjoy that then? Did you know you'd love this? I did not. <laughs> I absolutely did not. You know, you're a 13, 14 year old kid, you've got other things you want to be in. But she, you know, they took me to the fairgrounds in different places where they, they would be buying and setting up. So, and she tried to get me involved in liking to collect things. So that, that, that helped. So tell me about this area here. This is our mock display area. So this is where we set up every one of the stores. We'll set up dining rooms, the retail, and the front porches here. So when we come in, we get ready to design a store. We'll, we lay them out here in the warehouse, and then we'll go through our, our inventory here with shopping carts, literally, and pull those pieces and set up the displays. And then we go through and critique them and make changes and photograph them. We use a lot of the same things in the stores, but they're placed different. But we use a ox yoke over the front door as you come in. You know, there's a deer head and a shotgun over the mantel, traffic light as you go into the restroom area. So there's certain pieces that go in the same place at every store. All the different granite ware colanders and wash pans and ladles. So where does all this stuff come from? It comes from all over the country. I, when I first started, you know, dad started taking me around to flea markets and auctions around the country, kind of teaching me where to find this kind of stuff. So through that process, you met dealers in all parts of the country. And a lot of times we've had people at the stores and you know, they, they'll recognize a family member. You know, it really? just, just aston you know, astonishes me that they'll find somebody in there. And you know, if they can validate it, it, it is, we've given it back to the family. You know, that's, that's, that's where she belongs or he belongs, you know. We've probably, right now, we've got about 90,000 pieces in here. On a basic store, they'll run 950 to 1,000 pieces in a new store. It's all part of our history. It's authentic, original pieces. You know, one of the unique things about Cracker Barrels, they've, since the beginning, they've used authentic pieces in their stores. We do the inventory. Everything's got a little barcode tag. We inventory everything, and then we determine you know, where does it need to go in the warehouse? Does it go directly into the restoration area? Does it just get stocked until we need it? Or does it come on up front and get ready to be designed in the stores? So I love uncovering, you know, parts of Americana and history. And, uh, you know, you just meet the greatest guys in the world out there that are in this business. They love sharing the stories, you know, where they found it, who they got it from, what it was used for. You know, they're just the, the best source of information in the world.